Hello friends, this video on quadratic equations part 6 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 5. Let's take one more example. 2x squared minus x plus 1 by 8 is equal to 0. So if you see this equation, what we can do? Since this is 1 by 8, I can take 1 by 8 common. This becomes 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. Just to make my life simple because else I have to find AB in such way that A plus B is equal to minus 1 and AB is equal to 2 into 1 by 8 that is 1 by 4. So I can do this but, but this is not that good actually. So what I'll do? I'll, I'll convert this into this form because 1 by 8 is again the constant, so I can write this equation in this form. 16x square minus 8x plus 1 is equal to 0. This 8 I took here. Now in this form, I have to find a plus b is equal to minus 8 and ab is equal to 16 into, this is 1 actually, 16 into 1 that is 16. For me this is easier actually. See, this way also if I do, I have to find this way, let's suppose minus 2 plus minus 2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 plus minus 1 by 2 is equal to minus 1 and one by minus 1 by 2 into minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 4. I can do this way also, right? But just I don't like this 1 by 4 term so I made this way. So in this case a plus b is equal to minus 8 and a b is equal to 16. That means if I take a is equal to minus 4, b is also minus 4 and in this case if you see a plus b is equal to minus 8 and a b is equal to 16. This satisfies. This a is equal to minus 4 and b is equal to minus 4 satisfies my condition. So I can write this way 16x square minus 4x minus 4x plus 1 is equal to 0 because minus 4x minus 4x is equal to minus 8x minus 4x into minus 4x is equal to 16x square. So this becomes if you see 4x common I'll take so I'll get 4x minus 1, right, minus, here I'll take minus 1 common, so I'll get, get 4x minus 1, so what I'll write here, this is nothing but 4x minus 1 into 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, or x is equal to 1 by 4, that is my answer, very simple, what I have done, here again I have found the value of, I mean I have already written 8x as, I have written minus 8x as minus 4x plus minus 4x because minus 4x plus minus 4x equal to minus 8x and minus 4x into minus 4x equal to 16x square. Correct? Let's take one more example. 100x square minus 20x plus 1 is equal to 0. Here we have to find a and b in such fashion that a plus b is equal to minus 20 and a b is equal to 100. Correct? So if you take a is equal to minus 10 because we get b is equal to minus 10 because b is nothing but minus 20 minus a minus 20 minus a minus a is nothing but a is nothing but minus 10 this becomes plus 20 plus 10 so this becomes minus right so if a is minus 10 b is equal to minus 10 you can very well find it very simple now find the value of a b a b is nothing but minus 10 into minus 10 that is 100. So a is equal to minus 10 and b is equal to minus 10 satisfies my condition here. But I'll write this is nothing but 100x square minus 10x minus 10x plus 1 is equal to 0. Or I'll write this as 10x I'll take common this becomes 10x minus 1. Here minus 1 will take common this becomes 10x minus 1. Why I took minus 1 common? Because I wanted to make this part and this part same. So this becomes nothing but 10x minus 1 into 10x minus 1 is equal to sorry 10x minus or 10x minus 1 square this becomes 10x minus 1 square is equal to 0 because it is 10x minus 1 into 10x minus 1 that is 10x minus 1 square equal to 0 or I'll say x is equal to 1 by 10 that is my answer please note here there are only one value of x there is no two value of x because in when you say 10x minus 1 square the only possible option is x is equal to 1 by 10 so in quadratic equation we have seen that it can have one solution or two solution or zero function. 
This is one example where it has one solution. We will take one more example of factorization. You have to find two consecutive positive integers whose square is 365. So consecutive positive integers. When I talk about consecutive positive integer, I can take x and x plus 1 are two consecutive positive integers. Now the question says whose square, whose sum of whose square is 365. That means I have to first square the number and then find the sum. Correct. See sum of whose square. So first square these two number and then find the sum square of this plus square of this. This value is 365 given to me. Now let me solve this. x square plus this becomes x square plus 2x plus 1. This is nothing but 365 or I get 2x square plus 2x minus 364 is equal to 0. Correct. Or I take 2 common actually 2 into x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now I have to factorize this equation. I have to find a and b in such way that a plus b is equal to 1 because this is 1 and a b is equal to minus 182. How do this? Let's suppose let's take a is equal to, I will give you a trick here. When you have scenario where a plus b is almost equal to 1, right? and a b is equal to some value. So the value of a will be somewhere root of this 182. So we find root of 182. What we will get? See we know that 13 square is equal to 169 and 14 square is equal to 196. Correct? We know this. That means 182 is between these values. So I can say that if you can try a is equal to 13 or 14, it may give you the answer. Just a try. Because since a plus b is almost equal to 1, very less value, right? And a b is a greater value. So let me try a is equal to, let's suppose, 13. So if I try a is equal to 13, I get b is equal to 1 minus 13, that is minus 12. 13 minus 12 is equal to 1. But 13 into 12 is not equal to 1. Correct? Why? If you say 13 into minus 12, what you will get? Minus 156. Not possible. So let me try now a is equal to 14. If I say a is equal to 14, b is nothing but 1 minus 14. That is minus 13. a b count will come out to be 14 into minus 13. That is 180 minus 180. So if you see that is what I was looking for. So a is equal to 14 and b is equal to minus 13 is my value. So I'll write in this fashion this as x square plus 14x minus 13x minus 182 is equal to 0. This 2 is anyway cancelled because it's 0 here. Or here I'll take x common x into x plus 14 minus here I'll take minus 13 common this will become x plus 14. Why? Because I wanted to make this part and this part equal is equal to 0 or I'll get x plus 14 into x minus 13 is equal to 0. So either this part is 0 or this part is 0. When I say this part is 0, I get x equal to minus 14. And when I say this part is 0, I'll get or x equal to 13. So x is equal to minus 14 or 13 is my answer. Now the question says two consecutive positive integers. So x is minus 14 is not positive. So I will ignore this part. So the only value of x is 13. So my answer is not 13. My answer is 13 and 14. Why? Because I am asked. The question says find the two positive consecutive integers. So the two positive con consecutive integers whose sum of whose square is 365 is 13 and 14. Correct. What I have done? I have taken x and x plus 1 are two positive consecutive integers. I have squared it and got 365. Factorize it to get the equation answers and got 13 as the answer. Also got 14, minus 14 but since the question was asking only for positive integers. So I ignored minus 14 part and took 13. Let's take one example. Altitude of a right triangle is 7 cm less than the base. So if you see this is the right triangle. This is altitude, this is base and this is height. Hypotenuse. We know this. Right? Is 7 cm less than the base. So let the base be x. If base is x, 
altitude is 7 cm less than base this will be x minus 7 correct 7 cm less than base and hypotenuse is 13 this is given right now we have to find other two sides so in a, in a right triangle we know that p square plus b square is equal to h square where p is perpendicular b is base h is hypotenuse or i can say x minus 7 square plus x square is equal to 13 square this is the theorem i know pythagoras theorem let me solve this this becomes x square minus 14x plus 49 plus x square is equal to 169 correct 13 square is 169 or I get 2x square minus 14x minus 120 is equal to 0 here also I will take 2 common 2 into x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 now again I have to factorize such a way that a plus b is equal to minus 7 and ab is equal to minus 60 correct because this is minus 60 and this is minus 7 I know 12 into 5 is 60 and 12 minus 5 is 7 right so I can say let's suppose I'll take a is equal to 7 a is equal to 5 let me take a is equal to 5 a is equal to 5 b comes out to be minus 7 minus 5 that is minus 12 a b is nothing but 5 into minus 12 that is 60 see this minus 60 this thing will come out of practice the more questions we solve the faster it will be so I will advise you to solve more and more questions the logic here is this is the little difficult part where you have to find a and b in such a way that a plus b is equal to minus 7 and a b is equal to 60 this is all hidden trial so I found a is equal to 5 and b is equal to uh, minus 12 suits my requirement so I will write this as nothing but x square plus 5x minus 12x minus 60 is equal to correct because minus 5x plus 12 uh, plus 5x minus 12x is nothing but minus 7x and plus 5x minus into minus 12x is minus 60 so this is nothing but I will take x comma this becomes x plus 5 here I will take 12 common this also becomes x plus 5 why I took 12 common because I wanted to make x plus 5 common right this is minus 12 right? is equal to 0 so this becomes x minus 12 into x plus 5 is equal to 0 so x is either 12 or minus 5 now since we are talking about length length can never be negative length has to be positive always so this is my value of x so my base is equal to 12 and my altitude is equal to x minus 12 uh, 12 minus 7 that is 5 right because altitude is equal to x minus 7 this is x this is x minus 7 so that is my answer very simple I assume base to be x altitude came out to be x minus 7 as given in the question use the Pythagoras theorem got this equation quarter equation use factorization method to solve this equation to get the value of x x came out to be 12 and minus 5 since minus 5 is a negative part and the length can't be negative we'll ignore this part we'll take x equal to 12 since x equal to 12 base is equal to 12 because base is equal to x altitude is equal to x minus 7 that is 12 minus 7 equal to 5 thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again